All right, folks, welcome back. Let's talk about easy mode. Folks will ask me, what is the best deck? What is the deck that wins more? And I tend to give different answers depending on what, whether we're talking about the low stakes versus the high stakes. I give different answers depending on whether we're talking about win rate and winning more consistently versus uh, higher variance decks. Maybe there's a deck where when you do win, it's a very easy win. And all of this is different from uh, what I feel is a more important question. More important question is what deck should I be practicing on? And we've tried to answer this a little bit in the past. What I've said is, you know, when you're just starting out, white stake base difficulty setting, I suggest uh, you play on the yellow deck. And so, you know, one of the core components of the game is building up your economy, building up your passive income through interest. And just having the extra starting money makes it easier for you to do that. Um, another thing this does is if I have more money to start, then in those first few shops, I can buy more different things. I can try out different things. I can figure out what works for me, what doesn't. What works for you might be different from uh, what I tend to go for. And so, you know, just figure it out for yourself. Then, you know, once I have that, then let's move on to blue deck and then red deck. So without that starting money, we have to be a little bit more picky in our first couple shops. But then, you know, with practicing on the yellow deck, now you know what works and what doesn't. And then you can move on to the more interesting decks. Uh, the more interesting decks, those are your reward for learning the game. You don't learn the game through playing those decks. But also, you know, it's a game. So you want to have fun, you know, play with the fun decks. Now, if we skip ahead to the higher stakes... You know, let's say you want to get that good at the game. You want to start being able to consistently beat the higher difficulties. You want to try to complete the game, getting all of the gold chips. Where do we start? When you get to the high stakes, when you get to the gold stake, it is legitimately hard. Do not expect to win all of the time. Uh, I know folks, they complain about, oh, it's, you know, just RNG dependent. You know, I always get unlucky and that's why I'm losing all the time. Um, I like to think if you play better, you will lose less often, but that doesn't mean you never lose. And when you do lose, that doesn't automatically mean you've made the wrong decisions. Sometimes you do get unlucky and that's okay. So, you know, without that practice, without those reps, without that skill, let's say you're just losing all of the time and you want to, okay, what is the appropriate starting point? Maybe I have the wrong deck. What I suggest is the checkered deck. You know, if the deck building is an important component of the game, checkered deck, it sort of does a lot of the deck building for you. Already when we start, half hearts, half spades. You know, you could probably guess, oh, that's going to make it easier to play flushes. And so on the higher stakes here, minus one hand size on the gold stake, minus one discard on the blue stake, those two combined, both making it very hard for you to draw the cards that you're looking for, find the hands that you're looking for. And so with the checkered deck, we'll be able to consistently find flushes anyway, despite these handicaps. And so that could be very useful. Uh, the orange stake, the booster packs cost more in particular, Arcana packs cost more. You have less access to tarot cards. Normally you're using those tarot cards to build your deck. Now you don't need as many tarot cards because a lot of the groundwork has already been done for you. And so I suggest for practice starters, checkered deck, and then you can move on from there to maybe, you know, the abandoned deck and, you know, other uh, potentially more interesting decks. So another thing to keep in mind Flushes are not going to get there. And what I mean by that is if we've got green stake, higher scoring thresholds, if we've got purple stake, higher scoring thresholds, then we're going to need more points in order to win at all points in the game. You know, But definitely when we get to the end, we're going to need more points. And so we want to keep in mind we need to transition from flushes, not scoring very many points, into the higher scoring variants. So maybe straight flushes, maybe flush houses. How do we build our deck to make that happen? 
Uh, again, checker deck has a head start on that, has a head start on making the stray flushes, but there's still more work that we need to do. We need to be thoughtful about that. Anyway, let's jump in here um, and wish me luck. All right, we've got a skip here for $15. We don't get it right now, but we get it later after we beat the boss. I think of the skips that you can get in Anti-1, this is among the better ones, especially now we uh, reminding folks on the stakes here, we have all of these lower ones being applied. If you forgot the red one, the first one is no reward on the small blinds. And so this makes up for it, that's fine. So some consideration for without any jokers, for 450, you can do 450 without any any jokers, right? You can just play two hands that score. The gold stake and the blue stake make it harder to get those two hands. And so with other decks, maybe I don't skip. With other decks, maybe I can't afford to skip. It's too dangerous. Uh, on checker deck, uh, I can do it. On checker deck, I can make two flushes. Also, you know, on this concept of, you know, how often do you reset? Uh, me, personally, if I'm just playing for fun, I don't want to have a run start out on the wrong foot and then just have a miserable time the whole time. And so, you know, I will take in the beginning, I will take higher risks, and if they don't pay off, then I will reset because I'm just playing for fun. You know, what's the point? Um, if I'm playing for, you know, practice, if I'm playing for, uh, I want to get consistently better, then I want to accept the challenge of potentially having a bad start, then, you know, I won't reset. So just choose which is more fun for you. Is it more fun to reset if you have, you know, maybe in the first, in the small blind, oh, I didn't get the straight, I didn't get the win in one, do I reset? Which is gonna be more fun for you? All right, going in here, we've got already, here is a flush. Uh, also another thing about, you know, gold stake, like I said, you do have to get a little bit lucky. You do have to high roll a little bit. And so if you take these higher risks, then when they do pay off, you're off to a great start. When they don't pay off, you just reset. All right. Um, hmm. Banner, not great with the minus one discard though not the worst with the checker deck in general because checker deck if it's easier to get flushes then it's you know i don't have to discard as much ancient joker if you didn't already know it randomly chooses uniformly so one in four chance it chooses between the different suits that are available whether or not it's in your deck and so if this says hearts right now, it could randomly land on diamonds. It could land on clubs. And so half of the time, this is blank for us. I think this is fine on straights. I think this is fine on uh, full houses. If you're playing like on a normal deck, normal 52 card deck, but with the checker deck in particular, Ancient Joker is not it. That's not what we're looking for. Which means do I want to re-roll for some different scoring option? Do I want to take the banner, even though it's not super powerful, and it gets better if I have some plus molt? I think both of these picks are weak enough. I wanna take neither of them. The boss here is gonna debuff all of the spades, but we still have all of the hearts, hearts left over. Two hearts flushes will do 600, no problem. So maybe what we can do is we can take the grabber extra hand, makes it easier for us to play our hands. You can always use extra hands like you would use a discard or extra hands left over to give you extra money. And so I think we can do it. I think we can beat the boss without any jokers. Also, if you didn't know, in anti one through eight, there's no repeat bosses. So if this is spades now, we won't get this debuff spades in the future. And so we can go all in on spades, no problem, after this. All right, so we did, you know, already get the flush, though I will acknowledge this is not a win in one kind of flush. 
sorry, what I mean by that is this is not 300 points. Maybe that's okay. So there are only 250 points. There are rare flushes that can get 350, I think. Maybe not 350. So we do need to play three hands, which is maybe not the worst thing in the world. And so if I need to play three hands, might as well play this hand, the debuffed hand. And then look for my hearts. Uh, uh, look for my hearts. Uh, you know, even with the help of the um, checker deck, it's not guaranteed that you'll find your flushes with only seven hand size, minus one hand size is brutal, right? Because if you have hold on to four cards, discard three, discard three, redraw three, you only get to see six more cards. And so, it's not a big chance that I won't get the hearts, but there's still a chance. Kind of a brutal start for us, to be honest, but worth it, question mark, for the $15? What I really wanna see now, that boss we can definitely do without any jokers. Now I really need a joker. Scoring joker. Scoring joker like Droll Joker, you know, obviously we're playing flushes. This is a free plus 10. Maybe something to keep in mind is it's only plus 10. If we get the Sinful Jokers, uh, the Lustful Joker is plus four on all hearts. That's plus 20 for one Joker, whereas this is plus 10 for one Joker. For now, we have the Joker slot, so we'll pick it up. But long term, this is probably getting replaced and it's probably getting replaced pretty fast. Do we at the same time want the misprint? I think on the higher stakes, especially purple stake and higher, you need more scoring faster. You, you just need to get there faster, which means as far as your shopping goes, we're less picky. We're gonna take more stuff. And so here, in what I would do on white stake is I would take one of these, but not both. Since we're playing on the high stakes, I need both of these. Maybe I don't need both of these right now. Maybe I don't need both of these to beat the small blind. I can beat the small blind with just the Droll Joker. But by the time I get to the big blind and the boss blind, I am going to need more scoring jokers. And I don't want the situation of not getting the jokers in the next shop. So take it while it's offered. Even if it costs you a little bit of interest. So this is a $5 joker right now. That's okay. We should think about if we wanna take the hieroglyph. So minus one ante, remember that means lower scoring thresholds. Potentially, in order to win, you can play fewer hands. So lower scores, fewer hands is fine. Uh, I'm gonna wait on this. I'm gonna wait until after the big blind. So maybe try to get some interest first and then we'll pick up the hieroglyph. Let's go next. Skip for not just Arcana, but Mega Arcana. Uh, you know, we have $2 interest, zero from the uh, reward here, but we do have the extra hands left over. I think, you know, on the checker deck in particular, the Arcana packs are less valuable because we already have, you know, the deck built. So we're going to play the small blind here. All right, uh, we've got a flush. This is gonna happen. You know, drawing seven cards, it's gonna happen. You get the flush. The next round is uh, 1800. So if we roll high on the misprint, we can do it. Interesting, interesting. Um, this space joker not very consistent, doesn't hit all of the time, but if we're playing on checker deck, if we're playing lots of flushes, this could be big for us. And I said sort of like late game, late game you need to transition into potentially a higher scoring flush variant. This could be a reason if we get enough flush levels, 
then I can just do regular flushes the whole time. I don't have to play straight flushes, which would be huge because it's hard to make straight flushes. So we do want this. One and four is not a super big chance, but you know, I think it's still worth it. Uh, Magician has a chance to give us money. So this is, you know, on average $1 every time we play the card. Um, I think the expected value on this is low that maybe you don't normally want this, but I will say this, I will say, um, in order to win the game, in order to win the end game, we need some amount of X molt. We need a lot of X molt and a way that you can do that. All of the, uh, jokers that care about enhancements. So there's like a joker that cares about gold cards. There's a joker that cares about steel cards. There's a joker that cares about lucky cards. And so those you can't get until after you have that card in your deck. And so if I want to get the lucky cat, I need to have at least one lucky card. I'm going to take the magician. And this is, you know, like I said, on higher stakes, sometimes early, you need to take higher risks in order for you to get the high rolls that actually help you win eventually. Um, once you get to like anti six or seven, then okay, no more risk, right? Anti six or seven, now uh, I have too much to lose. Right now I got nothing to lose other than, you know, 30 minutes of intro that I recorded. All right, let's go next. Do I want to go hearts or spades? We said the starting boss was spades, so spades are safest. So let's go spades. I'm asking this question for where do I want to put my magician? So here, you know, obviously the hearts uh, flush is easier to get, but I'm going to go spades so I can put my magician on spades rather than hearts. It is early enough in the run that, you know, we can probably one shot this. So there's, it's not super risky. Uh, I'm going to put it on a non face card. You know, sometimes it's the bosses that mess with your face cards. Uh, also for the purposes of, if I want to go for straight flushes, you want to target the middle cards. So how about this flush? We got the level up, that's huge. Okay, so that's enough to beat the boss. One hand, right? Only one hand type. Okay, so we can play two flushes. All right, since we beat the big blind here, I said I am interested in the hieroglyph. The minus one hand is both minus one dollar each round. So that's gonna cost our money, but I think we can make up for it by beating the blinds with fewer hands. Uh, do I want some chips face cards to go with my uh, molt here? So, you know, maybe I just need two face cards per flush. Isn't pretty good. Take it while you can. Do we want the eternal superposition? Uh, if you haven't seen the last one, that's what we did. We did eternal superposition. Ah, uh, on gold stake with minus one hand sides, I don't think we can do it. Sorry, as much as I love superposition. Now what we're looking for, we really want some uh, income or value generating joker. So it could be golden joker, could be cardomancer. Hallucination is always fun. One of my favorites. I guess, you know, obviously superposition is a value generating joker, but it being eternal is maybe not what I'm into. Let's see here. Um, since I have the queen of hearts, let's discard looking for hearts. I guess it's 600 points. So we don't need the face cards. We just need to guarantee a flush or else we lose that's not a flush but we do have a full house so is full house with the bump from the misprint is that going to win it for us uh i think yes is it worth the risk 
of going for the spade flush. It's not super risky. We got three chances to get the spade. So about one in eight chance. Let's do it. One in eight chance, about 12%, you know, not super risky. We did get the upgrade. All right, we're rolling hot on the space joker. 4,800 points because we got the extra chips from the scary face. Rolled high on the misprint. All right. Next we've got, uh, it's gonna be the 1,200 again. This is interesting. Okay, card sharp. What does card sharp say? Uh, we get molt if we do a repeat hand. So if we play two flushes, second flush is worth three times. So one times plus three times is four times with two hands, two hands acting like four. That means on average, this is a times two for us. Sort of an unconditional times two, right? Uh, we just do flushes like we would normally doing, be doing. We get a times two. This is huge. If we're doing this, if we're doing Space Joker, if we're doing play more flushes rather than play fewer straight flushes, then I think Card Sharp is what we want to be doing. Save our money for interest after that. Rare Joker. I think... We want to be building up our interest. We want to be looking at more shops. Every time you go into a shop, it's a free reroll. You get to see the shop instead of skipping the shop. So that has some value. All right, let's look for one more heart, any heart. Seventeen on the misprint gives us uh, about five thousand. So you know, let's say we roll low on the misprint and make, get only uh, plus eight on the misprint would be about thirty-five hundred, I think. Seltzer isn't going to work with what we currently have. Shoot the moon is an interesting prospect. Uh, plus thirteen on average, this is going to be just the plus thirteen. We don't have the hand size to hold on to a lot of queens, and so it'll just be on one queen on average. So I think that's worse than what we're currently looking at. Uh, do we want this buffoon pack? I think short term, we're good on scoring. And so if we're good on scoring, let's save for interest. Though I will acknowledge this is good value. Buffoon pack is always good value. Um, and with the orange stake increasing the booster pack costs, these are going to cost more later. These are going to be more expensive later. I'm not going to be able to buy these later, but I'd rather have the income. I already have all the jokers that I need. All right, what am I looking for? I'm just looking for spades. Any flush, like a lucky flush with a face card. Plus six on the misprint, so that, you know, in that 3,000 range I was talking about. So even if we roll low on the misprint, we could still beat the boss, no problem. All right, uh, we've got some options here. You know, I could make an exchange here. I could, instead of Droll Joker only plus 10, I could try to build up the bus. I could try to, if we're not gonna play face cards, I could get rid of the scary face and replace it with the Bride the Bus. Um, you know, someone commented on the last one. They were frustrated that we didn't go hard on the bus. They were frustrated that we didn't, uh, you know, burn all of our money to power up the bus. The way you should think about the bus, you know, if you go up to, let's say, plus 10 molt. Let's say you play 10 hands, 10 burner hands just to level up your bus. You've spent $6 plus $10 worth of hands. You've spent $16 for plus 10 molt. If I offered you, here's this joker plus 10 molt for $16, you don't take that. Here's this joker, plus 20 molt, but it costs you plus, or it costs you $26, you don't take that either, right? And so don't go, don't go super hard, don't go crazy with the bus, trying to level it up. Also, the bus betrayed us last time, right? We drew all our face cards, we didn't draw our flush, but I think with the checker deck, it's, 
relatively safe, safe relatively. And so I am interested in this. This time I am interested in the bus. This is a build that looks at playing two hands. I already have the uh, grabber voucher for the extra hand. I think we can go long with the bus, in which case let's get rid of the face. Costs us $1 interest, so this bus instead of costing us $6, this is actually a $7 bus. I think that's also fine. Save our money for interest, go next. Hearts are debuffed. So just like we said before, spades debuffed, now hearts debuffed. We'll never have hearts debuff again. Here's that lucky nine. I said put the lucky card on the nine because you know there's things that debuff your face cards. I guess ride the bus is one of those. Interesting. Seeing double normally great. Normally very easy to turn online. Very easy to get X2 on all of your hands. Not going to work on the checker deck and that's okay. Let's think about the next blind. 3600. We got about 30,000 or 3000 there. Maybe 3200 there. I think we need a little bit more gas. Or I guess we just play two hands. Play two hands is fine actually. So let's, do I want this paintbrush? Long term, yes, short term. Maybe I don't need it just yet. If I'm playing flushes, not very many chips, do I want this ice cream for the chips? If I do take the ice cream, what am I getting rid of? I think between the two of these, between the droll and the misprint here, Misprint is less consistent, so maybe I don't take the misprint. Yeah, let's do that. Let's pick up the ice cream here. If I weren't doing flushes, if I were doing some higher scoring hand, like maybe I had a uh, level two straights, then you don't need the ice cream. But for now, this is a times two. All right, uh, I think that's all we got here. We'll save our money buying the paintbrush next time. Coupon tag makes everything free. Booster packs free, jokers free. We're good on jokers. Free booster packs could be kind of acceptable. Though then we're required to score 5,400. I think 5,400 with the times three from the card sharp, we can do this. How much is this coupon tag worth? Is this like 15 bucks is what it is? Is 15 bucks worth the skip? Uh, I'm gonna go no. The jokers I have are good enough. I don't plan on replacing them soon and so maybe the free jokers I don't need. So I'm gonna go no, this is less than $15. All right, uh, we're not allowed to play the face cards. Easy, okay. Show me one more spade. Just like that. All right, so we know two hands, two hands to win the next round. Uh, if one hand is 4,000 points, then two hands is 16,000 points because of the card sharp. So we're good, we're good on scoring. Uh, if I wanted to be a little bit more consistent, Abstract Joker is gonna be a little bit more consistent than Droll Joker. I guess, you know, it's just like plus five here. Uh, I don't think we need to do that. Uh, we do want the paintbrush. Uh, do we want this Arcana pack now? I think pass on Arcana. Still saving for interest. Don't want to skip for $10. Now, okay, hear me out. Early on, early bus, don't burn your hands for, you know, because you're not only are you just losing the money for those hands, you're also losing the interest that you would have. Now, interest already built up, interest already secured. Is it worth it now? 
to spend hands to level up the bus? And I think the answer is yes. So the way to think about this is like, if we had a, instead of a scoring joker, if we had a money joker, right? You play more hands because you score less, but then the money joker makes up for it, right? The golden joker plus $4 makes up for it. Here, we're looking at the opposite situation. We're looking at instead of money from our bus joker slot, we're getting molt from our bus joker slot and our money is coming from our interest instead. Okay. So I wanna level up the bus, that's what he said. He said level up the bus. How do I level up the bus? Do I play the one hand? I guess it's two hands, so we can do this. It's safe. Uh, okay. And then we don't wanna play the king. So we'll discard looking for more hearts. Okay, we got the hearts, so we can go ahead and we can play a burner. Uh, we do shrink the ice cream, but potentially we grow the high card with the space joker. You know, who knows? You know, this is the one of those funny ones you see, like uh, space joker always triggers on your high card, but not your flushes. There on the last hand, I should have calculated if I was more paying more attention, should have known that a high card would have won because of the sh card sharp. And so I should have played the flush as the hand for the one in four chance on the space joker. My bad. All right, now we got money. We're good on money. Let's go Arcana pack. Fool for a magician. Uh, if the long-term plan is Lucky Cat, or A plan is Lucky Cat, I think, I mean, definitely we don't want more clubs. And I think we don't want to sell any of these jokers for a random one. So, yeah, give me more Magician, give me more Lucky. Save our money, one, for interest, two, in the future, save our money to afford more expensive booster packs. So. When you're playing on orange steak or higher, orange steak making the booster packs cost more money, you get to decide. You decide, am I going to re-roll more or am I going to buy more booster packs? You get to pick one or the other. You don't get to do both because of the higher booster pack costs. So I'm choosing not to re-roll. Uh, the fish here. When we play a hand, it's drawn face down. That's not a problem for us. Uh, except for either the face cards are kind of awkward, you know, they're like landmines. I got to dodge now. Uh, we got the plus one hand size from the paintbrush. That's huge for us. Since I have the nine of spades, I'm going to go for spades here. Boom. We got another nine of spades. We have these stinky face cards that we got to get rid of. Spicy. Uh, okay, we got the stinky face cards that we got to get rid of. Actually, we're stuck with it. So, you know, we only have plus five on the bus. Maybe we can't do this, you know? Maybe we just got to crash the bus so that we survive. We'll see. Though I am kind of disappointed we didn't get a spade. So let's do a rank or a suit sort. Okay, so here's these. This is somehow bigger than a nine. If I sort by rank, it's bigger than a jack. So this is probably a face card. Like it could technically, it could be an ace, but it's probably a face card. And if that's the case, okay, I can't do this one. I can't do these, you know, I got Let's go again, rank sort. So what is this? So this is safe. This is somewhere between a nine and a jack. This could be unsafe. This is really stinky here. This is very dangerous. I do know this is hearts, right? If I go suit, that's hearts. And so if it's hearts, 
there's no more jack of hearts. That means this is a 10 or a nine. So this is safe. This is safe. Ship it. I guess high card because of the card sharp is just a banger. Uh, so here, if we go suit sort, these are all my spades. If I sort by rank, here's three spades. Maybe among these three spades, they could be face cards. The highest one is maybe not. Okay, fine. Let's not risk it. Ah, oh, I could have played the, the lucky card here and then it would have flipped over. Oh well, since we didn't do that, two high cards will win with the power of the card sharp. Is this just high card? Is that the move? Is that what we're doing? We, it's already, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. So, instead of playing this droll joker, replace it with blue joker, and then we're on high card. We do have the seed money. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, that was 10k, right? It wasn't 10k, it was 10k? It was 7,000. Can I get 10k with just high card? I can if the chips are high enough. The way we get the chips high enough is we go blue joker. All right. This is what you wanted. This whole time, this is what you wanted. You wanted me to go all in on high card? All right, I'll do it for you. Um, do I want these, do I want a buffoon pack? I think the joker set that we have right now is good. Spectral pack. Um, uh, uh, I'd rather have the interest. I'd rather have the interest. Let's go next. 11 bucks. Orbital tag leveling up two pair. Nope, let's play it out. All right, what kind of high card shenanigans? We have two lucky nines. So maybe let's look for some nines. I guess I'm allowed to discard first. All right, here's my high card. Oh, I don't want to discard because of the blue joker. There we go. So let's play as few cards as possible because of the blue joker. 7,000 high card. Space joker always triggers on high card. 8,000 points for that. All right. If you had any doubts, now we're cooking. <laughs> uh, Dusk, triggering on the final hand. I think this is better if you're playing, uh, obviously if you have triggers that you want to re-trigger, that's better. But I think better in general on just the five card hands, the higher ranking hands. We're gonna keep saving our money for interest now. 15,000, that is three high cards. Here's one. Here's two worth three times as much. All right, now looking for a nine, lucky. Always lucky, never punished. Hmm. Green Joker is like the bus, levels up when you don't discard. If you just play without discarding, it's going to level up. And so maybe time to get rid of the ice cream. We've got the blue Joker doing what we need instead. Uh, you know, between these, when I have the red bus and I have the green joker, something to think about is um, if green joker is lagging behind, and so let's say we get the bus up to 25, then the bus or then the green joker is at 10. If we get the bus up to 30, the green joker is at 15. And so even then, 
15 hands later from now, this extra plus 15 is just 50% of what the bus is already doing on its own. And so I don't need the green. I don't need the green joker. I already have the ride the bus. What I'm looking for now is only X molt. And does the mega buffoon pack help me get the X molt or do I save my money for the interest? I think it's safe to save. And if it's safe to save, then I will save. This is, wow, what a jerk. All right, if you didn't already know, the arm is a jerk. And high card, this is going to annihilate us. So maybe you're right. You're right, you've convinced me. Show me some jokers. Uh, swash, buckler, splash. Splash is extra chips, though you know, we lose chips because of the blue joker. Fibonacci is on high card, not good, but I don't have to play high card. I could go back to playing flushes. And if I go back to playing flushes, Fibonacci is the thing that I wanna have. Swashbuckler gives me a medium amount of molt here, plus 10 molt. I think we went the Fibonacci, and if we want the Fibonacci, I think we go uh, Swashbuckler first, sell it, pick up the Fibonacci. Fibonacci is compatible with either Flushes or High Card. And do we want the Arcana pack? Or do we want the Interest? I'm concerned, I'm so concerned about the arm now. All right, uh, this is not a viable flush because we've got these face cards. So let's do the high card as a way of getting rid of the face cards. I will say though, even with this de-leveling, de-leveling our high card, our chips are not coming from this. Our chips are coming from the blue joker. Our molt is not coming from this. Our molt is coming from our ride the bus. And so, it's not that bad. Yeah, let's just play the high card. D level, no problem. Uh, this is gonna be 16,000, because the card sharp. Sorry, uh, 12,000, takes us up to 16,000. Oh, we got the space joker with the bailout. Two is a high-ish card. Cool. Sock and Buskin with the retrigger. No. Clearance sale voucher. Yes. Later. Eternal. No. Go next. 25,000. No problem, boss. All right. Uh, we got the nine. Here's a nine. I want to play the ace second because it's going to get the triple with the card sharp. Uh, we play an eight also. I guess we could discard for our lucky card, um, though that does weaken the blue joker. We should have gone for the lucky card. You're right. Supernova. All right, Supernova didn't work any of the other times. You know, we haven't had a high enough hand to make Supernova work. High card now. So unlike the bus, Supernova is retroactive. It counts all of the high cards that we've already played. So it's definitely better than Fibonacci. Let's definitely do that. So right now, Supernova equals ride the bus. And so we have ride the bus. This is times two. Here's one times one times two, since these are equals. Uh, Celestial pack for Pluto. Clearance sale, should have bought the clearance sale that cost me an extra dollar on my supernova. Sorry about that. Uh, save money for interest or buy the celestial pack while, while we have the chance. The main thing we're looking for is Pluto. Pluto gives us plus one molt we don't really need because we got these two. Uh, gives us plus 10 chips we don't really need 
So actually, no, even if it did have Pluto, it's not worth seven bucks. Go next. Uh, it doesn't matter what card we play anymore. That's 7,000, which means this is, uh, you know, 22,000 upgraded. 26,000. What I really want to see now, you know, if I put it on my, my wish list, uh, give me the stunt man. If you, have you ever had the stunt man? That stuff is wild. All right, we got, we got a ton of money here. So let's go Spectro Pack first. Show me wild stuff. Show me... Okay, Hex is a little bit too wild. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said wild, but you know maybe not this wild. Um, if I just add more aces, those are more cards that are not face cards. And then also in the situation where you want to get rid of face cards, you can go Ace, King, Queen. Gets rid of the face cards without them scoring. Ride the Bus is non-scoring face cards. Let's do that. Also, more cards for the blue joker. So here's, you know, in the past what we said is, hey, don't add too many cards to your deck. Adding cards makes it hard for you to get the cards that you actually want. But blue joker rewards us for having more cards. Arcana pack plus 10 bucks, or, you know, maybe we want a steel card. So maybe the thing to keep in mind with the steel card is you get the times molt on this, eight times 1.5, and then this happens after. So for the, the other runs we did for the straights, for the straight flushes, uh, steel cards were very good. Steel cards were essential. On high card, doesn't work anymore. Unfortunate. Uh, do we want to do a suit change? I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Though, you know, here with the Ride the Bus, it levels up regardless of what hand that we play. And so we could still, in the late game, you know, I'm not attached to high card. It doesn't have to be high card. If I get a Flush House, even without the Supernova, even without the plus 20 from the Supernova, Flush House could be worth more points. So maybe with the Sun, let's try to make that happen. How do we make that happen? Flush House with these cards, or just the security of the $10? I like the $10. That'll buy a future booster pack, a future $14 booster pack. Mercury we don't need. Go next. Minus one hand size, no problem, boss. How about uh, we'll go ace first? Should have played the kings. Nine second, maybe we get lucky with the triple. Every time this hits, the space joker, so this is one in four chance, you get plus one molt, compared to these are both plus ones. Uh, one in four chance, you get plus 10 chips which are about equal to two molt. Play the ace, play the kings, play the extras. Let's look for uh, our other lucky card. Nope, and that's fine. So we got 78,000. We know the next round is 50,000 or we can go back in time do we need discards? Where we're going, we don't need discards. Um, yeah, let's go run info. Let's go, uh, you know, here in the collection. This round, uh, anti six is starting at fifty thousand. I think we don't need this yet, and the reason why I'm going to hold off on this is because the each round we play however many hands to level these up, right? And to level up our space joker. If the scoring threshold is lower, we win faster, we play less hands, we grow slower. So I'm gonna wait on this, but I am gonna get it. Uh, with the money, since I have it, do I want, you know, bonus cards, extra chips for the high card action? Sure. Do I want to take a chance on these buffoon packs? Is this buffoon pack going to be better value than just a reroll? 
I think I want to say yes it's close brainstorm is insane fortune teller is sad actually honestly sad uh, but brainstorm is insane here so now I got to think about what am I gonna get rid of I'm um, comparing ride the bus and supernova here uh, supernova is you know powering up our high cards bus is on 27 bus has a fail case we fail if we land on the face cards so maybe I think between these I think if we're just playing high card it's safe to stick with the bus which is going to apply to not just high card but other hands as well we can play you know if we end up playing a flush here and there so get rid of supernova or blue joker let's see here high card is 95 so right now this blue joker is uh, a times two so that each of these is a times two blue joker is a times two ah uh, let's get rid of supernova it's a common maybe it'll come back around later that's it we got the brainstorm okay these are kind of equivalent now so let's do the blue joker all right buffoon pack number two what could we even get blueprint would be cool uh okay banner that's gonna be worse than blue joker all right so we're good uh let's save our money for the next shop we don't need to reroll for anything go next skip for foil we don't need foil Three of a kind orbital tag we don't need. Go next. All right, if I'm gonna level up something with my Hierophant, probably aces. So let's play the 10. Let's play the other 10. Let's play, okay, we got the lucky nine. I'm going to discard here. All right, we got the lucky nine. I'm going to upgrade the aces. I'm going to play the nine because it's lucky. And then here's what I'm saying, you know, with that scoring threshold, we are able to play an extra hand. That's actually good to play an extra hand. Uh, Jupiter, we don't need though you know like i said this bus applies to not just the high cards but it also applies to flushes and so you know maybe late game we need something more than just high card so maybe it's worth it to hedge it's only costing us two bucks anyway uh arcana packs here we have the money we have the technology we can remove a face card we can go for a chariot here chariot is get looking better looking better on the chariot. It's up to plus five molt on a chariot definitely getting rid of the jack maybe we'll get rid of a low card as well um let's not get rid of the three it makes our blue joker a tiny bit better just get rid of the jack just get rid of the face cards arcana pack here Hermit is pretty big. I wouldn't mind a gold card, but I guess these things are kind of similar. Am I going to get six gold card activations? Probably not. Hermit's going to be better on average, especially we're anti six already. Um, I said I was going to wait on the petroglyph. Uh, I think that is still true. So we can definitely win the next round. So let's go next. Uh, we should think about this. Sets our money to zero. That's so rude. We got all the vouchers. That's so rude. Okay. 
Um, let's go... This is a high card-ish. This is a high card-ish. This is a high card-ish. Probably could have looked for the lucky one. Okay. The boss says, hey, don't play that high card. Challenge accepted. Let's do this first. Petroglyph makes the boss smaller. And so all of this stuff here, the chips and the ride the bus are gonna boost my flush. If I play two flushes. Card Sharp says two flushes. Let's inspect the buffoon pack. Looking for more X mold. There's that supernova coming back around. You know, maybe now is the situation where, okay, this boosting with the space joker, I would rather have the, the supernova plus 31 because of the supernova or plus 13 on the flush. Yeah. Ah, it's such a small bonus though. And the space joker is, you know, this is income right now. This is a, a golden joker, right? This is just money. Hmm. I think we skip here. Space joker is going to go away in two rounds anyway. I'm going to find x Mult and I'm going to get rid of space joker anyway. So might as well get rid of it now. Uh, in which case, standard pack, is that what I want? Yeah. More chips for high card, more hearts for making a flush. Also, it's a lucky card. Uh, between these, you know, the stone card is, is good. It's attractive. I'm torn. I think we go for the stone card um, and again that's you know like the lucky card where it unlocks the stone joker is a chips joker let's do some light re-rolling here i think we can do better than supernova uh magician i will accept re-roll one more time since we have the money uh juggler i'm gonna re-roll one more time golden joker eternal can't do it Venus, three of a kind. Can't do it. Okay. Can we beat the boss? We have only one disc. I think we just lose all our money. In that case, let's just roll. Strength? Huh. I can go strength on kings. Do I want to, instead of the Magician, do I want the World? Makes it easier to get flushes. Maybe we could flush the boss if we play two flushes. So one thing that's kind of nice about the Strength is uh, the face cards, normally you can't play them as part of your flush. But if I turn Kings into Aces, then it unlocks them. So let's do that. All right, I'm gonna go for the flushes on the boss, knowing that high card will be my backup. And, um, you know, if I lose $20, I lose $20, but it's better to take the chance. All right, what's the tech? We do have a flush. We can start with a flush in spades let's not play the chips because i want to save that for the second one because the card sharp is going to multiply so i'll just play this flush and one more of those will do it right if i go triple on this 17 that's going to do it 
exactly the situation I was talking about, king and queen, we can go, it becomes not a flush. Wow, that's rude. Oh, but we could do this. That's weird, but I accept. This is a flush. Dang, you don't see that every day. Ace into two. Nice. Invisible Joker. Invisible Joker copying... Uh, Card Sharp would be good. Brainstorm would be good. Ride the Bus would be medium. I guess Supernova is already a copy of Ride the Bus. I'm into this. I'm into this Invisible Joker. I'm just trying to figure out how to make it work. We can get rid of Supernova. Man, this is the second time we've had that Supernova. It just keeps coming and going. Alright. I'm into this. Let's go next. A voucher. Ooh. I think... You know, just a random voucher. I think we can't really afford it anyway. So I think we gotta play. Um... All right, so if we want to play some high cards, we could play the lucky ones. There's a lucky one with a stone card if I want it, but I don't need it. <laughs> There's a space joker. There's a spaceman again. Um... What's the next blind? The next blind is the polychrome skip. I don't want. I'll buy the voucher in the next shop. This stuff, I'm going to save my money for, you know, we still have the seed money. Go next. Winning gold stake on high card is going to be a rush. Let's see here. Uh, I'm going to throw away the face cards this way. Haven't gotten lucky yet, right? Maybe now's the time? Uh, let's look for the other one. Uh, we're so good. Though... If we get the purple final boss, the violet vessel, the million points, high card not gonna cut it. I'll tell you straight up, I'll tell you right now, high card not gonna do it. Shoot the Moon is worth a little bit more now. Um, and here's why. Brainstorm only copies the leftmost. So it can copy Blue Joker or Ride the Bus. This doubles our base molt if I do this, if I go Brainstorm on Ride the Bus. So this Brainstorm is a times two right now. Here's one times two. Or Blue Joker is, you know, we've got however many chips. I shouldn't be doing this, right? Because if this is, high card is 100, blue joker is times two, this is another 100, this is times 1.5. We should have been, this whole time, we should be doing this if we want to score the most points. Um, if we want to keep leveling the bus, we could do this, or we could do this with the brainstorm. Anyway, what I was trying to say about the, the shoot the moon is, card sharp is a times three, so if I want to copy the times three, you know, with the brainstorm or whatever, this times three happens before the ride the bus and is sad. But if I have the plus 13s from the queens, this happens first, this times three happens after. So like it could be worth it to maybe swap out the blue joker for the shoot the moon. Um, but I think just copying the ride the bus with the brainstorm is going to be optimal. For now, we will... Half Joker is cool, but we already got better. So let's go next. Save our money. Base is halved. This is on top of that. No problem. No problem at all. So here's a high card that we can get rid of Queen. 
Here's three times that much. That's 38,000. Here's another 38,000. Right, so this is what I was talking about. <laughs> Four hands is only 120,000. We really need more X mold. And this invisible joker doesn't really help, right? If it copies the bus, that's just another plus 50% if we copy the bus. If it copies the blue joker, that's bad. If it copies the card sharp, that's best. Copies brainstorm, that's just another bus. That's just another times 1.5. Ah, nuts. Let's go hermit first. I'm gonna go Arcana looking for a fool or a temperance or a hermit. He called the fool. I'm gonna go Spectral Pack looking for something interesting since we have the money. Extra aces? Sure. Yeah, I guess one ace for those aces, fine. Uh, do I want Hone? Do I want Sun for maybe I could go flush five aces? End game flush five? It won't get the times three from the card sharp, so probably that's not the move. Probably that's not gonna work. Though card sharp is replaceable, theoretically. Before I use this invisible joker, I want to re-roll. So let's go hone first. Let's re-roll. Summit is not the move. Hit the road. We only have the one discard. Ah, that's not it. That's not the move. That's unfortunate. Go next. Seed money. Save our money. 90,000, we could do it. Mega Arcana, not going to be the thing. All right, for now, we're going to save the Invisible Joker, looking for more X Molt that we're going to try to copy. Uh, go next. All right, we've got Aces. Hoping to get lucky on one of these eventually. Let's discard looking for lucky. Okay. Hundred and forty thousand. Hmm. Unfortunate rocket. Unfortunate Scholar, you know, we're just playing one card at a time. Uh, we could go... Jumbo Pack has like light synergy with this blue joker, but I'm trying to sell this blue joker, to be honest. Um, I think 130,000 we can do, and so maybe let's not reroll yet, but let's wait till the next one to reroll. Uh, do I want these Arcana Packs? Kind of expensive but it's a jumbo. So I'm gonna go in on the Arcana pack. Uh, tower is not the worst thing in the world. So maybe I can go this Jack into stone. Now we got two stones. Standard pack. Let's save our money. Go next. Go next. All right, let's start with the ace. Go 10 next. 60,000 for that. 60,000 for this. Okay. Strength, uh, you know, maybe there's always a chance that kings turn into aces. We did it before, we could do it again. Uh, Arcana pack. Now I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna re-roll because 180,000. There's two things that are wrong about this. 180,000, that's big, that's uh, stressful. 
play five cards you could do that play five cards you could do that with the high card especially if we've got the um you know the vouchers here for the extra hand size but blue joker is not the move anymore that's not the move because if we're playing five cards we're drawing too many cards blue joker is going to be too small what i want is ice cream which is common and so maybe we could get ice cream do I want to use the Invisible Joker now on these? No, I want to look for more x mold first. So let's re-roll down. That's not it. He got the stunt man? Okay. I think we go Invisible first. Uh, these are better hits. Brainstorm and Card Sharp are better hits than Stuntman, so we go Invisible first. We got the Brainstorm, that's interesting. We go Stuntman. Before we go Stuntman, we can go Arcana. Because this is minus two hand size, so let's go Arcana first. All right, we're, we're really cooking. This King, do I want to turn it into a stone card or do I want to save it for the strength I think I'm gonna turn the king into a stone card and then you know if we end up in a situation where we only get to strength one king then I'm fine with that uh, we definitely take the stunt man here now probably we don't need to roll I think now we're powerful enough uh, standard pack no longer synergistic with the blue joker by the way the blue joker why is it so dang blue it's not as it's more blue than the green joker is green you know what i'm saying let's go next five cards no problem stunt man maybe makes it harder to play five cards but i think we can do it i think we can survive what do i want to be what's my configuration here so if Brainstorm is copying Ride the Bus, here's this is 100% of my molt. This is plus 100%. This is plus 50%. The third one is plus 50% on top of what I already have. Same thing if I do this. Same thing if I go Stuntman. This is 100% of my chips plus 100% plus 50% on top of that. Or do I want to go Card Sharp? So this is times three. 10 becomes 30, that's times three. And then times three again is plus 60 is more than a bus. And then times three again is more than a bus. I think this configuration is better. Now the bus doesn't matter. The bus is so weak. Okay, I'm into it. Sign me up. I guess for the first one, we'll do this. Ship it. That's a high card. I'm so stressed out. This is a... I want to win in one. This is the, the gold stake. I want to win in the first try. All right. Uh, glass card is dope. So let's do this. We're copying the card sharp. Oh, we could even do this. We could go bus first, card sharp, times two time, or times three, times three after. This is huge. We've got the technology. Let's play it. Wait a second. That's a flush. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a flush. Oh, uh, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we've got 10, 10, I'm going to play these, okay, ship it, okay, he, w he can't keep getting away with it, all right, light, light him up in the comments, tell him in the comments, all right, uh, what do we want to do here? We're in anti eight. This is it. This is the end game. We got the we got the combo here. We can play high card for a hundred and something thousand. Uh, purple boss, we lose. Any other boss, we're probably fine. Mm. 
Celestial Pack getting a little bit extra on the high card before we get the times three could be worth it. My jokers are pretty good. Uh, what's the next best thing? Next best thing, maybe four of a kind aces? Celestial pack again or save for interest? Let's save. Flush tag. Shuffles my jokers. Oh no. That's gonna be wonky. That's okay. I know how to do this. I know how to solve this. All right, uh, flush we don't need, so we'll just go next. We played the flush. The flush crashed the bus. It took him so long to realize. We just realized. It's okay, because we got the card sharp. All right, this bus, the bus is garbage now. Do better. On this channel, we, we should do better than that. Which means, now I can play any high card. And I can even use my discards. I'm so liberated. Alright, ship it. Ship it. 100,000 high card. Boom. Uh... Any joker is better than what I got right now, which is nothing right now. Uh, let's go Celestial Pack. Pluto for the high card. Hey, show me that Supernova. That Supernova, bring it back around. We we weren't we weren't mature enough for the bus. We need the Supernova to come back. All right. Um, Emperor. Maybe I don't need the strength anymore. Uh, I could make aces, but I don't really need to. So, show me some random tarot cards. Wheel. Holographic, I guess. Death is going to be a stone card. That's what death is going to be. Alright. Um, or it could be a glass card, technically. Glass card would be dope. Let's go standard pack looking for a glass card. We have the money. Maybe maybe it's safer to go for jokers. Like Todd is not very big. You know, we already have 300 from the stuntman. Shoot the moon. Yeah. Because this goes before this. That's what I want. That's what I wanted this whole time. How many queens do I have? All right. Uh, double my money? No. Alright, let's test it out. Let's test out this technology that we got. Get rid of everything. Looking for queens. Uh, if we didn't get the queen, we could play this high card. Then, I'm gonna save the death for the queen. We can play this high card with a stone card. It's not a big contribution, but it's enough that's a hundred and seventy thousand oh we're so good e too late on the constellation not too late on the ramen <laughs> Yeah, 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 no, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, 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 all right, we're done, we've done it, I guess the main thing that we need to uh, set up here is, okay, uh, we got to deal with the face down jokers and and we've got we've got the technology to do that let's see here uh wheel of fortune or a random stone card i think a random stone card's better so let's go stone guaranteed value if we draw it which i guess is not guaranteed value right <laughs> 
Uh, okay, we don't need this. We don't need this. Next. All right, face down. If we slow it down, can we see where they end up? All right, like if you do this. Whoa. <laughs> Too fast. All right, but what we can do is this is this is the copy. This is the brainstorm. This doesn't matter. All I need to do is find the card sharp, put the card sharp on the left. And maybe try to find that glass card would be kind of fun, not essential, but kind of fun. Let's discard first looking for glass. Don't discard because of the ramen. Except now I know this is the ramen. Nice. Nice. All right, uh, let's play this ace. So that's the stuntman, that's the ramen, that's the holographic copy. So the card sharp is one of these two and I don't know which one it is. Oh no, that's okay, that's okay. Let's go, let's play these. Oh, we've done it. He can't keep getting away with it. All right, we gotta speed it up. We got... <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. All right, uh, let's play the ace. Doesn't matter, ship it. Hey, just like that, we got the gold stake with the high card. With the high roll on the Jokers. Well done, well done team. Uh, that was incredibly stressful. I'm sorry, I'm sorry we crashed the bus. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be better next time, I promise I'll be better next time. All right, take care everyone.